Let's balance the equation Ag plus H2S plus O2. Silver plus hydrogen sulfide, and then we have this oxygen gas here. So the first thing we need to do is count the atoms up before we balance the equation. I've already done that. Next, when I look at these atoms here, I see I have two silvers here and one here. That's going to be easy to fix. Silver's all by itself. For the hydrogens and the sulfurs, those are balanced. The oxygens, I have two in the reactants, one in the products. What I think I'd like to do is think of it this way. Two times some number is going to equal one. So two times one half, that would equal one. Twos cancel out. We have one. So if I put a one half here, that would balance the oxygens. Then for the silvers, I just put a 2 here, 1 times 2, that equals 2, and we're done. This equation is balanced. These are the correct ratios. Some teachers don't like to have the 1 half. What you could do is multiply everything by 2. So when you do that, you end up with, and then we usually don't write the 1 by convention. So this is also a balanced equation. The ratios are correct. You could have started off by putting a 2 in front of the H2O, trying to get the oxygens balanced. This is probably a little bit quicker. And when you see oxygen using fractional coefficients, they can be really useful, especially with combustion reactions. So that's the balanced equation for Ag plus H2S plus H2O. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.